All right, today I'm going to start out with the flag. I'm going to not video it all because, quite honestly, I think you're getting bored with the flag. I'm just checking the width of each of the stripes. And uh, making sure that they're all even. Be spaced. Yeah, that's better. And I gotta redo all the lines a little bit because they're all rubbed out a little bit. All right, I'll come back after I get done with all this. Time to play with some clay. I got a problem, and I didn't realize it until just now. I'm going to have to do this whole friggin' star thing over again. Because this stripe right here, let me show you. The blue field comes down to the bottom of that stripe that intersects the uh, V cut on the flag, on the swallowtail. That's this one here. And as you can see, it should end way down here, which means I was trimming the top off when I shouldn't have been trimming the top off. And because of that, the whole damn thing is screwed up and it's screwed up on both sides. Now it's not as bad on this side as it is on this side but it's still this flag has just been a headache this has been a challenge i mean an incredible incredible challenge so i'm gonna have to stop right now i gotta order more stars and i'm gonna have to redo this whole fuck this whole field i almost said a bad word <laughs> oh man this has been my paramour right here, this this flag. Anytime you get into technical stuff where everything has got to line up perfectly, uh, you run into problems, and I just did. So I'm going to order some more stars and hopefully have it by the beginning of next week. Ah... I'm just so aggravated right now. Uh, I got a problem, and I didn't realize it until just now. I'm going to have to do this whole friggin' star thing over again. Because this stripe right here, let me show you. The blue field comes down to the bottom of that stripe that intersects the uh, V cut on the flag, on the swallowtail. That's this one here. And as you can see, it should end way down here, which means I was trimming the top off when I shouldn't have been trimming the top off. And because of that, the whole damn thing is screwed up, and it's screwed up on both sides. Now, it's not as bad on this side as it is on this side, but it's still... This flag has just been a headache ever since I started doing this damn piece. I love doing it. It's just... This has been a challenge. I mean, an incredible, incredible challenge. So, I'm going to have to stop right now. I got to order more stars and I'm going to have to redo this whole fuck this whole field. I almost said a bad word. <laughs> oh man. This has been my paramour right here, this this flag. 
anytime you get into technical stuff where everything has got to line up perfectly, uh, you run into problems, and I just did. So I'm going to order some more stars and hopefully have it by the beginning of next week. Ah, I'm just so aggravated right now. Dang. All right, that's got me frustrated for the rest of the day, so I'm just going to have to call it quits. All right, I was frustrated a few Go minutes ago. Stuff. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try to pick up the paper. I kind of got a feeling I'm not going to be able to. Although this paper on the back that these stars are on is photo paper. And it makes it just a little stronger than the paper that I did the other side, which was regular paper. Okay, I got it. I think I got it pretty good. Yeah. I just got to clean off the back of that uh, sheet. Find the right tool to do that. Thank with. goodness I did this one right. Okay, I just need to smooth out this. It's taken me quite a while to get the stripes all evened out, and uh, that's how I found that I had a problem with this star field, because when you're doing something that has to line up perfectly, all right, I'm going to take my Gorilla, gorilla Glue. And uh, put it down. Oh, man. Yeah, what I did was I got a little carried away with trimming out the uh, the blue field, and I shouldn't have done that. So now I got to put it evenly spaced between the top and the bottom. Well, actually, I got more space on the bottom than I do on the top. Let's see if that works out. Yes, it does. That works out perfect. See, I trimmed the top part, but I didn't trim the bottom part. If I'd have left the bottom part the way it should have been, or the top part, it would have lined up perfectly with the top of the flag. But now I've got to try to blend that a little bit. Okay. I tell you, I put my cutoffs on today, or my shorts on today, because it's, it's hot in the studio. <laughs> Either it's too cold or it's too hot. No in between. <sighs> that works. I'll come back next time, and I'll blend in the uh, top part so that... Uh, the blue field goes all the way to the uh, top. And I, like you can see, I, can, I stressed out the flag a little bit more so that it looks more like it was in a battle. And uh, we'll see what this turns out. I'm gonna come back uh, tomorrow and uh, finish up this flag. And hopefully I'll be in a good mood tomorrow to 
do the rest of the clay, but right now my brain is fried. This is this is completely blown my patience for today. All right, good night everybody, and I'll see you next time. It actually turned out okay. Unbelievable. Please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.